Espresso TV. TV. So guys, for uh, Latte Art, you always need a little bit of experience, like uh, how the, the steam corresponds uh, with the milk. So here we have our cooling tray with the nice uh, milk. Oh, sorry, this one, no, no, that's the uh, wrong one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, so it's always good to prepare in advance. So here's the good milk and we use the little bit more difficult milk with a 3.5% uh, of fat. And also the protein should be above uh, three uh, gram. And here, for example, we have the protein and it's 3.3 gram, okay? So always check this, that it's not below three, should be above three. And uh, I always prefer bio product. So here we have our bio milk and fresh milk. And of course with fresh milk, it's uh, more difficult than, than with the, uh, uh, let's say, age milk. So this one is the reserve, okay? It's, the duration is of course much longer, but in my opinion, the taste here is better. And now we, we do our uh, uh, experiments, okay? We, because, um, yeah, Julia is not familiar with this kind of machine, so first we test a little bit, okay? Yeah. This one. These are actually the ones that I normally use. It doesn't really matter because, I mean, this part here will help you draw on your cappuccino okay. a little bit easier, but to be honest, it's really just a matter of experience or what you are used to use. Okay, so, yeah. So you can always go for this one or this one, it doesn't matter. Just keep in mind that size of the jugs is also very, very important in order to waste less milk. This is a 60 centiliters milk jug. Yeah. And this is the younger sister, the smaller sister, okay. 30 centiliter. This is the perfect size for two cappuccinos and maybe also a macchiato yeah. if you're really good at frothing. And this is just for a single cappuccino or maybe cappuccino and a macchiato uh, as well. Yeah. So keep in mind you're serving just one cappuccino, you want to go with the small one to waste less milk. Okay. And the big one if you want to go double. Okay, and now we, we test how much milk to fill inside. Absolutely, is there, absolutely. I mean, it's easier to start with the bigger chuck and to pour, for it's example, so, with the smaller. Absolutely. Right? Marcus said it correctly. It's always easier to froth with a bigger jug because you have more milk inside and you can control temperature uh, in an easier yeah. way, let's say. The jug itself gives us an indication. We want to stop just right below the beginning of the line here. Make sure you always use milk straight out of the fridge. So you want it cold, you don't want to use hot milk in frothing. And this is how I work. I prepare my jug. And okay. before frothing, I like to do the double shot espresso, just to have the freshest element as possible. You want to have fresh coffee and fresh frothing yeah, milk. Yeah, okay. Same as before, we level the coffee out. Voila. <laughs> Cool. Wow. Nice, huh? And as Marco said earlier, every machine works differently. So you always need to get used to a new machine. Yes. First. So don't get worried if the result is not entirely perfect as the first. 
because you need to do a lot of cappuccinos, a lot of bad cappuccinos before getting a oh, yeah. result. Ah. It takes experience and it takes practice. Cool. Another important part, before frothing, you want to get rid of all the water inside of your steam wand. So you want to give it a good flush. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Then uh, let's look at the meal jug as it was a cross. So we divide it into four quarters. Oh, okay. And we want to put the steam wand in one of the corner. Just make sure you don't put it in the center, but as close as possible to the middle. Oi, wow, okay. And then we go. We start on the surface. Now we are creating the crema. Your milk speaks to you. When it gets silent, you can lift the jug up and work on temperature. Once you cannot hold the milk jug anymore, it means you drink. Okay. Make sure, grazie Marcus. Sponge Pop. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Bitte schön. This is a very important part. Keep your machine as clean as possible, please. Especially the steam one, because old milk ah. is not as good. Now maybe we uh, pour into the smaller one. Yep. Before pouring into the small one, this is the most important ah. part in milk. You want to work your milk and incorporate the crema and the liquid because milk separates really, really fast. So we want to go like this and we keep going like this until ah. it looks shiny, almost like ah. syrup and paint. Oh yeah, you wow, see? it looks it's shiny. Getting, it getting, it's getting shiny and shiny and this is ah. exactly how we want it. I also like to do it a little bit like this ah. to have liquid and crema. Wow. Incorporating itself. Okay. And then we cool. separate it. Oh wow. <laughs> cool. This is like, to separate the milk is a way to have a more balanced result. Yeah, yeah. So we want to have two cappuccinos with the exact same proportion of crema and liquid. Hmm. Another important part. Make sure you mix your coffee first before Why? pouring a cappuccino. Because at the end of the extraction, we get a lot of bitterness and caffeine, and that bitterness stays on top of the crema. So if we mix it a little bit, we will have a more balanced drink. Okay, ah, cool. Mix again your milk, because it separates really, really fast. Then you want to tilt the cup. Now we pour as the traditional Italian cappuccino, okay? Okay. Ah. You want to tilt the cup, aim at the center, Wow, nice, wow, super nice this heart. This can happen, okay? You can get dirty while you work, it doesn't matter. We can always clean it afterwards. Cool. Wow, that's very sophisticated. <laughs> I can already see that I've got a little bit more crema on this one. So if I want to have a little bit less crema, I can always get rid of some. Oh, yeah. It takes experience, you'll recognize your milk. So the this is why there. two pitchers are always good. Ah, nice, wow. And you can always wow. finish it up a little bit, if you want. Wow. To fill it up a little bit more. And now we can move to <laughs> different, different designs. Different yeah. Design. Well, now we have a double shot, this is nice. Yeah. Uh, I can try to uh, please Martin, so please. condensed water now I look for one corner <laughs> okay four quarters and uh, I choose the, the left you can choose water which here you want. and now Nice okay. sound, a nice sound. We can see the milk increasing its volume, of course, because we are adding steam inside. So we've created the crema. Yeah. We've worked here. I'll do ah, it. yeah, okay. Super, super cool, okay. So now we have some uh, bubbles here on top. A little bit of bubbles, we can get rid of those easily. 
we can even put the jug down yeah like and just one yeah one two that's enough you see yeah this is a perfectly Super well cool. done crema okay so now i take my second one Perfetto. Here to uh, get rid a little bit. You're using a very, very, a, a big cup. Yeah. So you could probably even go with just... Ah, really? Yeah. Perfetto. Okay, so now mixing and this one, wow, not so easy, but uh, yeah. It looks really Na good. It now looks it really looks shiny, good. okay. It looks amazing. Oh yeah, so now... <laughs> and let's test, so here, breaking the crema. Exactly. Okay, this one is with the bottomless. Bottomless, uh, yeah, it makes sense because sometimes you get your cup a little bit dirty, but that's okay. So now I mix a little bit and it's easier, so I have more uh, base. Absolutely. Okay. And now... Nice heart shaped. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No comparison to no, here. No, come on, but, come on, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Okay. It's just, it looks nice both way. The most important part in yeah. milk is temperature, actually. You okay. don't want to go above 65 degrees because the proteins of the milk will change into yeah. something else and it will taste more like ricotta or butter. Ah, and we don't nice. want that. Yeah. We want it to taste like milk. Nice. So I, I do a first uh, test. Please, I cannot, I cannot have diarrhea, unfortunately. <laughs> so I will test. Hmm. Of course, Giulia Chino is better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but That's but not it's true. cool, it's yeah. Not true. It's uh, not true. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Is mm. it good? Good temperature? Yes, yes. Yeah, you had a double shot of coffee. So of but course, the cup is bigger, you see, and then with a single shot, the same. it's um, coffee yeah. will just disappear. Wow, cool, cool. Nice, Marcos. Really nice. nice. Hey, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now we continue a little bit, Absolutely. and that's the cool thing. With uh, two groups, we can uh, work uh, simultaneously, almost simultaneously. Absolutely. This is what I like to do. I give my jugs a good rinse with water. Ah. Yeah. Mm. So that we can drop the temperature down again. Yeah. Because we want to use cold milk and cold jugs, of course, as well. See as before. Wow. We put milk inside. We move into the double shot. Yeah. Clean your filter. So, Clean your filter every single time. I also take a drip tray for myself. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit noisier here, this one. It gets noisier, you know, when you work, yeah. it gets noisier. So, the noise is normal. Noise is normal. Oh, nice. Voila. Yeah. Please. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. So normally then I would put one grinder here on my workspace. Oh, wow. Perfetto. Perfetto. That looks nice. And now one quarter. Sound is nice. Because your milk needs to be silent. If it screams, you're not creating any crema. Okay. Wow, yeah, that's mine. Haha. <laughs> Here. Also, if you don't have a distributor, just do like this exactly. and then... Old school, uh, old school. Yeah, old school. Old school always works, okay? Yeah, that's good. That's good to know. Wow. Super nice. Wow. This is the texture that you want to get. And also, remember that Latte art requires a little bit thinner crema 
okay. con il cappuccino okay. the Italian, the traditional Italian cappuccino has got a little bit thick crema and sometimes you won't get perfect droning on okay, your cappuccino yeah. but as I said before it looks nice okay but the most important part temperature in milk okay cool can I also put it this way in case of a hurry? Yes, of course you can. It takes experience, so your experience. Oh, pfft. so I try. Now I listen. It's in one corner. Ah, getting hot. Okay, so I stop. <laughs> cool. Wow. Ah, nice, yeah. So, yeah. I'm sorry for shaking. I shake all the time. I'm sorry. Where? Do we Get shake? Do you see something? No, I don't. <laughs> that looks nice. Cool. Wow. Mix the coffee first. Yeah. You always want to work your milk before pouring it because it's really, really important to have it perfectly balanced between crema and liquid. Wow. Aim at the center. You go round. Nice. Voilà. Super nice, wow, excellent. And now the third one, Julia, here, maybe with my uh, perfectly done milk foam, maybe perfectly you, done. you can try. You do a little bit more sophisticated than oh, myself. No, 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 no. Ah, wow. Wow, hey, super nice, wow, voilà. that is cool, that is cool, huh? and that's the cool thing, yeah, it doesn't matter, that's the cool thing of, uh, uh, yeah, getting familiar with the new machine, because yeah. here Absolutely. everything is new for Absolutely. Julia, Absolutely. for normal barista, he works with the machine for a couple of days, weeks and so on, and you then you know every detail, but here, uh, yeah, it's uh, super cool. It looks cool. It looks wow, cool. it looks cool. cool, it looks cool, yeah, the milk is the really... The milk is perfectly mm. done, the milk is perfectly done. Okay. To have latte heart, you need to have a lot of experience yeah. in, in frothing, in frothing. Yeah. And you want to create your layer of light brown yeah. first, and then you stop. And as you get closer with the milk jug, you'll have more crema coming down. Mm. And that's where you can draw yeah. your okay. flowers and your Picasso on your cup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super nice. I, I like it. Yeah, there are so many different ways. There are. There are a lot of ways. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> so we, we have another attempt, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's see what's coming out. I prepared my small workstation here. Only grinder is missing, but that doesn't matter. I take now the dirty one, the uh, Gran Rosa. Mm -hmm. Because with the uh, cheaper ones, uh, it's uh, good for cappuccino. It's really, really good for taste with the cappuccino and also for latte heart, because we will have a darker coffee on cup. Ah, then the and contrast. And we will have more contrast with the water. Okay, ah, that's why, okay. Had we used 100% Arabica, we would have had a lot of differences, a lot of contrast. Okay, yeah. The 100% Arabica is a little bit lighter when extracted. Okay. Super nice. So here I start already. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. And with the bottomless, of course, you always have some drops yep, at yep, the side. Yep. So this is normal. Absolutely normal. Okay. So here again, the milk. Is there any recommendation for the quantity you insert into the jug? It's very much, uh, as I said earlier, it's very much the milk jug will tell us. So here? Just one millimeter below the line, the starting of the beak of the yeah. jug. Basically. Did I do it correctly? Perfecto, perfecto. Okay, so I stop. Grazie, Marcus. Okay, Grazie cool. Tutta. I'll rinse the jug a little bit. Yeah, cool. Keep in mind that you don't want to froth uh, uh, already pre-steamed milk. Why not? Well, it's the same for coffee. You wouldn't extract uh, an already extracted coffee. Oh uh, yeah, the okay. The proteins of the milk uh, go away after the first frothing. Okay. If you froth it again, it will get burnt, you'll taste like cheese and you won't get oh. an even crema. Okay, so don't froth uh, twice. Don't froth again, don't froth again. Always fresh milk straight out of the fridge. As you said earlier, 3% fat, 3% protein is perfect. Yeah. And then <laughs> <we go>. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool, simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and you also hear from the sound when uh, it's getting louder then it's clear that uh, the milk is ready. So, uno, Grazie. due, tre. Okay, rotazione integrale. <laughs> yeah, nonsense, sorry. It's, no, uh, no, no, it's not, no, no, it makes yeah. sense. Complete rotation, complete rotation. Okay. And then we go again, we mix the coffee. Yeah. We mix the milk. And then we go. Wow. Nice, very nice. A little bit smaller flour. Yeah. Huh? doesn't matter so this is a uh, work in progress we can say okay absolutely it's don't always don't be afraid to try out you yeah. know nobody's perfect i don't always get perfect drawings but it's not about the perfect drawing it's about knowing the ingredients that you're using and how they work now we go with a little bit of a hard shade because we need love in this crazy world. Yes, absolutely. Wow, that is cool. We need love, we need love. Yes, okay. Ah, yeah, so uh, I try my uh, my one. Now yes, you I can do it, you can do it. Try a flower, okay. So here, I just built the base and then we will see what pops up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, 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 bye. Yeah. Ah, come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you were getting there. We're getting that's a uh, first semester uh, cappuccino, but what to say? <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter. It's it not a perfect droning, but it tastes makes fun. Good. Yeah, yeah. It tastes good. Yeah, so you see, first semester, uh, uh, fifth semester. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, With everybody, uh, we need yeah. to work. We keep working. Yeah. We keep learning as we yeah. go on, you know. Cool. And, wow, super cool. So now we make a short break. And and test a little bit for ourselves okay hey ciao ciao ciao, ciao. ciao. tschüss